The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We put the charts up for the FTSE and also for the German DAX. The German DAX, much, much weaker, as you can imagine, more economically sensitive, I would guess. Uh, there's going to be a guest at our half-hour break. Is going to be another than the Wolf Trader himself, Shane Smolian. He did a two-hour webinar over the weekend on Saturday, folks, explaining what was going to happen today. And I think he did an admirable job of that. He's going to share some of that with us when we come up here. This is, uh, people have asked me this morning, is this the crash? No, boys and girls, this is not a crash. <laughs> and, and under no, no stretch the imagination isn't a crash. Let me just explain to you why. Here is, let me just show you what we're looking at right here this morning, and I'll give you my two cents worth. And believe me, if you pay more than that, you probably overpaid. Here's the ABCD up there at 4804. You notice that the, the BC swing, do you see the B swing that's there? Now, one thing that we talk about here is that once markets do one thing, they have a high probability of doing another thing, don't they? So all we're going to do now is we're just going to take this and we're going to move, clone that line and we're going to move it over to the uh, where we think it's going to go. And you can see these these are equal moves. In other words, the move between the uh, the 17th and the 20th is equal to what we've had here between the 8th and the uh, the 10th. So, well, it's more than that. It's five days. So that would be back but the third. So those are, those are equal. That's all they are. They're right down to where they should support. Now, if they break that support, and if they break that support, then that's going to be something. But right now, they have not done that. Another thing that may or may not mean anything, and I'll bring this to your attention. I was watching it this morning because I would imagine someone was going to ask me the question, and this is what I was watching, and that was, uh, if you'll look at uh, what the AI was telling me, and remember, this is going back and preparing uh, similar days to see where the time sequence could be, and remember, this is all time-sensitive, folks. Now, you'll notice here, the time sequence we have here was coming in right, up, right before the show started, around 11 o'clock, and you'll notice on the far right-hand corner over there at 15,180, that was the number that they were probably assuming that that may or may not get to. Now, that may or may not mean anything, but that happened to be pretty close to the low. I think it was within about 20 points of that low. Now, if we start going below that, then there's going to be, you know, some serious things going on. But we've had a tip-off that something's been wrong with this market for a long time, folks. I mean, well over, you know, four or five days without any trouble. Let me let me give you an example of last night. Okay, this was this was Sunday night. I'm going to bring this up here. Let you take a look at it. Now, this is part of my my very secret oscillating oscillator. I haven't shared this with anybody before, but you can see that red line there. That's my secret oscillating oscillator. And that came in for the high at 15,660. 15, uh, uh, the high was... Uh, 15,663 and you notice how we started to go down you can see the ABCD down there at uh, 161 Eight. We went through that by 100 points. So that's just the fact that the market, ex, you know, ex, exceedingly uh, weak as it goes down. And remember, the NASDAQ has been the leader on the way down. And so that's the same thing. Now, you'll say, well, that might have been a mystery. Well, mysteries, you know, they tend to repeat over and over again. But let's take a look at this one here. Hold on one second, because I talked about this last week. And it may, may mean something to you folks. But let's just go back here and look. If you'll remember... Back here on Friday, uh, we were talking about this. There was the oscillating oscillator number up there at 15,900. The high was 15,895, within five points of the exact oscillating oscillator, which, if you're not watching the show, it's nothing more than the 382 of the previous high. Now, look what happened last night, folks. There it is right there from the high on Friday to the high we made overnight last night. 
was 15,662. And look where we went. We just kept going down, 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 down. Uh, we've been as low as 15,155 now, which went way below the 61% retracement. So that's what this is. You're starting to see fear. But I do not believe this is not a crash, boys and girls. It could be a crash later today if we start going below uh, 50, uh, 15,100 in the uh, NASDAQ. There could be a crash. But, you know, remember in 1987, the crash was the greatest buying opportunity of the of the of the 1980s so remind ourselves of that that this just a, i'm looking for trading opportunities that's all i'm looking for and you know i send the videos out and if for instance last night we had a beautiful 382 retracement in gold at 1792 that made a thousand dollars at one time and then it went back down to 17 you can't give a thousand dollars back after you've made a thousand dollars i can't i mean i i just don't think that's very very smart you know, that's the main thing. Another one we had that was uh, just a really nice trade, and we'll get this up here, show you this was a crude oil last night. We, we put this out Sunday morning. I put this out. It's if you get the break, sell the first 382 retracement, that had well over $1,300 in it. So that's that's all that is. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, we're seeing the repetition, trying to – you know, profit from it. And the way you do that is you know that if it goes beyond these numbers, then, you know, it's something different. But uh, that's really, I believe that we have started a major bear market here. Uh, that much I believe. But this is not the crash. The cra when, when, you, when you ask me for the crash, the, the words are going to be, <laughs> is, 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 oh, my God, it's the crash. You'll know it yourself. You know, don't don't rely on me. I mean, come on, give me a break. I can't. I don't get. Here's the YM. You'll notice here the same thing here. I'm sorry to be a little, but uh, no, there's nothing nothing in the wind here. We're going to have some great great swings for sure. I mean, you can see how these things are starting to move now, which is which is really really spectacular. Now, let me uh, spend just a moment here because there's a market that we've been following. Uh, not trading, but following for quite a while, and that is the uh, cryptocurrency blockchain. Uh, we'll be able to look at it. What is that on the wall on the screen behind me? That Rui is my. That is my. Uh, I think. Are you talking about the painting or the Indians? It's probably the Indians, isn't it? Yeah. Well, if it's on the wall, they're both. They're, one has the Indian of the uh, of the nine Indians, and then the other one is the. Uh, yeah, those are the nine nine Indians. Uh, I got that as a gift from uh, one of my students uh, many years ago. It was done by uh, one of the tribal members of the Cherokee tribe here uh, in Tucson. And uh, it is really, yeah, it's Native Americans. It was done by the Cherokees out in the Chiricahua Mountains outside of Tucson, about 200 miles heading towards Texas. Uh, it's it's a spiritual thing. I don't know anything about it, but, you know, it's a it's a sculpture uh, of copper is what it is. So, but thank you for asking. I, you know, you, you know, Ruby, you're the only person that's ever asked me that. So let's move on here. Let's take a look here. This is the Bitcoin. Do you remember back here in 2000, January 2018 when Bitcoin was 20,000? That was the bubble. It went all the way down to 3,100. All right, let's be, let's take a break here. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. All right, folks, we're back, and I wanted to talk about this uh, Bitcoin chart. Uh, we were talking about the high that it made in January at uh, 20,000. We broke down to 3,100. You can see the start of the first ABCD pattern there uh, in the summer of 2020. Then you'll notice the market went up. Again, it pulled right back to the 382, went up and made an ABCD pattern. And then we made the final ABCD pattern here uh, back in uh, late August, uh, early September up there at uh, 67,000. We broke hard. Uh, came down and went right up to a 382 retracement, and that was the key level right there. Uh, we talked about this many times in the newsletter, and we talked about it on the air. I have never put a trade on in the uh, service here. I mean, we talked about buying Cardano at six cents, but that was during the live trading session we did in September uh, a year and a half ago. But now we've made that 382. Now, the ABCD structure on this, folks, measures down here to just a little below. Uh, uh, 20,400, 20,600. And, uh, but I think we'll probably come close to touching that old high at around 20,000, would be my guess. So that's uh, what we're watching today. I think we're ki kicking below 40,000, so we're moving rather quickly. But uh, this is a this is a buying opportunity, folks. This is not going to be uh, anything. It might, it could be the major bear market, but uh, uh, looking at the technical picture of this, we've seen it too many times that it follows. Uh, very, very nicely. And so you, you want to remember that. Now, I wanted to show you uh, one of the ones that would, was, which was the easy trade today. I, I sent a, a video out on this uh, last uh, on Sunday morning. Uh, this has a lot of symmetry, folks. This is nothing more than the largest commodity market that we have, which is the Treasury notes. And the whole world is bearish on them. I even heard a rumor that Elvis Presley was on the show here on Friday talking about if you continue to be long the bonds, you're going to lose your dough. Well, look at this pattern that we have here starting in October. We have 13 days down. You have a really strong rally. Then in November, you have 13 days down. You have a really strong rally. And look where we are now. 13 days down, and we're setting it exactly a 1.27 expansion of the whole move. And you see the little red box on the right there where it says, 12, 20, 27, 27 and a half. That was the low today, folks. It's almost a full handle higher. 
the bonds were doing the same thing. We did the same thing with the picture and the bonds. Let me uh, let me try to get this up here to sh show you because this is what these patterns are good for. Hold on one second. It's got to be here somewhere. I know it will be. Uh, well, I shouldn't say, yep, there they are. We're okay. And we'll get this one up here in the Treasury bonds, and you'll get up here to take a look at it. And one second, we'll get it right here. There we go. All right. Now, the same thing. Now, the bonds didn't quite take out the number at 154.14. Uh, it got to 154.19. It took out the previous day's low by quite a bit, but then it's been able to hold that level and uh, – to uh, excuse me, it did take out the low from this is the Sunday chart, folks. So this morning, Sunday night, uh, this did take out that low by one tick, and then it then it's reversed uh, quite a bit. So I'm I'm just looking at that as, as an idea of showing you how some of these patterns come together and how we get a setup of how much we have to risk. Because as I mentioned, that if you go more than six ticks, which is basic basically about a hundred hundred dollars. $100, $100 in the treasury notes, you're probably going to be wrong. But now that's moved substantially in your favor. So you've got a pretty good opportunity. Maybe this could be a really strong bottom because we're down 13 days. We should get a three to five day rally off of that. It's what I would uh, would be ready to see here. Okay. Oh, well, the auction. I don't know much about the auctions, Ruby, but uh, they come and they go as they, as they say uh, in the trade. Now, let me uh, get up here for just a second here. Uh, uh, hold on just a minute. What was the other one I wanted to cover? Shut the front door and raise the rent. Oh, the, the main thing was this was the, the real key here in the crude oil. Uh, review your review your charts here, folks, for the uh, for the newsletter, because these are really I think they're important because they had perfect numbers on Friday and in crude oil, gasoline and uh, crude oil, gasoline and. And heating oil, all had exact numbers. Now the heating oil number was amazing. It got to, it actually went up a buck and a half Sunday night to hit the exact number up there at 251, and then it just it came unglued. So these numbers, uh, they don't always work. But when they oh, did that, did the heating oil chart? Oh wow! Shut the front door and raise the rent. I think it did. Yeah, we're okay. Right. Anyway, our guest will be at the break here, will be Shane Smolian. He's got some really interesting stuff today, folks. Uh, he was doing this webinar on Saturday, and uh, it was a, it, it was really very informative. I watched the whole thing, and I hardly ever do anything like that. But uh, it, it was extremely uh, important to me to, uh, to watch it. Now, where do we go from here? Well, if the bottom is coming in today, this is a Monday, okay, we're, and uh, – we're, where, we're very oversold now. We've reached major levels. We've rallied well over 120 points now in the NASDAQ and well over uh, 200 points in the uh, uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average since we were on the air here. So that tells us that this may be uh, the bouncing section. Now, should we go below those levels now? That would be below uh, 35,500 in the uh, Dow Jones E-mini and below on the NASDAQ would have to go below. Uh, well, the low we were looking for was 15,174, and the low on the day was 15,000, uh, where is it here? 15,152, so it was 20 points away, which was 400 bucks. Anyway, we'll just watch that. So the next thing you want to do is since both of those both of those swings came in pretty much where they should, if you want to watch what the next retracements are going to be, and that's the that's the whole key to uh, re, you know trying to figure out what you're going to try to do with some of these things. We got the bonds now. Uh, the low was at uh, 115.19. We've rallied uh, about five, a little more than 500 dollars. Uh, on the thing, the now the crude oil is uh, had had a really good move here. We went from uh, well, we got all the way down to 77.80, and then we rallied back up. Here again, you hit the 78% retracement just now at 78.72, but it's still acting pretty well. It's coming back, uh, even though you bang it up, it still comes up. Now I don't have time to do anything in the grains, but boy, we've had some wild action, folks, to so get ready to spend more for eggs and tofu and stuff because the soybean marl, soybean meal market is on fire. Uh, there's a big drought going on, a lack of rain and hot weather down in South America, and that is going to affect this stuff into the spring. So we got a weather market there that we're uh, looking for an entry point in, but uh, right now it's been uh, a little too volatile for me. So it's as volatile enough in the stock market, but we did okay. 
okay. Uh, we, we covered our shorts this morning just as I, I thought we would. Uh, didn't make as much as we could have, but we made more than we expected. So that's basically uh, all you can ask for. Now, one of the questions someone's asking me now is about the foreign currencies. Folks, we are in that really tight trading range in the euro uh, if all you have to let's just I can bring it up here and I can show it to you easy enough I think would be the uh, the simplest way to do it so hold on one second I will be able to do that right here and you'll be able to see here's where we are and uh, we've got higher bottoms in here but what we want to be watching for is we've got to get a move above 114 when we get a move a move above 114 then we got a chance that yep this could be the major one where the dollar will start to weaken i.e gold will most start most get ready to move a, a whole lot higher we're extremely bullish gold folks we bought it today at uh, 17 uh 92 it will be right back 877-927-6648 are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. We have Shane Smolian, TheWolfTrader.com, on the air. And Shane, you have the mic, my friend, and why don't you tell the folks what you're looking at today? Good afternoon, Larry. Is this Duke and Duke? You got it, baby. 100 South Broad Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We're in business. Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn. Capricorn, that's right. And this is Capricorn season. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
So today we have something new. It's a new year. We're going to talk about a new topic today. And Larry, this actually comes from uh, the charts that you were sending me. So we're going to talk about planetary steliums. If I have time, we'll talk about S and the S&P towards the end. Uh, I just We have a lot of slides to get through. But planetary steliums is, a, is an interesting concept. I never thought about this as an actual tradable phenomenon or an indicator until Larry kept sending me these charts. Larry, you kept sending me all these dates all the time. So for the viewers out there, you know, Larry will Skype me and he can say, can you run this chart for this date? Can you run this chart for this date? And I kept sending him these charts and I'm thinking, what is he looking at on these charts? What am I missing here? And they all correlated with very specific highs and lows in the markets. And I'm not talking about, you know, short term highs or lows. I'm talking about like massive highs, like 1987 high, massive lows, like the 2000, March of 2009 low. Um, so what I realized was that he, Larry was looking at planetary steliums and planetary steliums are clusters of planets. Uh, and, and this is a, this is, a, this is a conjunction. So when the planets are all together, um, this is a new astrological tool in the sense that I, uh, I, I put this into an index. I built an index around it, uh, to, to show when it's strengthening and weakening. Uh, these tend to be positive market events. So when you get these plants together, it, it, whether it's at the top or it's at the, at a low, if it's at a top, it tends to be the, you know, the end of the rally. If it's at the bottom, it can stop the, the, the downturn. Uh, it's really amazing. It shows up over and over again. Uh, there can be a little bit of a delay after a stelium. Uh, sometimes it's like the air coming out of a balloon slowly. Uh, so in 1987, they, it happened at a market high. Uh, in March of, of 2009, I should say 2009, it happened at the bottom uh, right at those March lows. And I'm going to get into that uh, if we can get to that. Uh, much more research needs to be done on this. I'm just starting research on this. Uh, I want to look at different harmonics. I'm going to look at the first harmonic today, which is just clustering, uh, but there's many harmonics to look at. I started looking at the third harmonic, uh, fourth and twelfth harmonics, but we'll get into this. So let's talk about a brief history of steliums. So I have Dow Jones here. Now, uh, a lot of times I don't like to go back to beyond the, the pre-Fed era, uh, but this is different. This is just looking at a singular event. Uh, and so I think it's relevant because, especially back before the Fed was really strong, uh, the markets really followed the astro information that we would see. So I'm going to show you a chart here. This is 1917. And what these peaks represent here, these represent uh, periods where the planets are very close together. So you see these peaks. I've made it so it's an index where it can show where it starts to, to rise and fall. But you'll see here, uh, number one, it shows it at a market high. Uh, and then also when there's a low, it stops the market from, from going down. So over here in 1917 in July, you see another stelium here, and it happens right before the big decline. So sometimes when these steliums come, it ke it's like it, it's a rolling high. And then when the stelium is over, it's like all of the energy is released and the market starts to fall. Uh, I, I was very surprised when I went back and looked through the history on this because it, it, it just shows up over and over again. Uh, this is what this particular stelium looked like. Uh, this was just – now, this one was the peak here on 19, uh, March 27, 1917. I just picked this one here because it was the highest uh, on the chart. But that this is what it actually looks like. Now, it doesn't look that impressive. It's only four planets, but they're very t and they're in a very tight orb. And as we get through these charts, you'll see that a lot of these planets get much, much tighter in their orbs. So that's the first example. Uh, so again, it can, it shows up at these peaks. It also can stop a decline, uh, and it can show up near lows. Uh, so the next one is going to be January 18th, 1917. Sorry, July 18th, 1917. Uh, and so this one is going to look a little bit to the right now. So we're going to look to the right of that three peak, those three peaks. So. I'm looking now at this one, and this was really the the important stelium here because this is the one that happened right before you got that really strong downdraft here. Um, so we would expect this to be a much tighter stelium here uh, because this was really like the release of the energy before the markets collapsed here. Uh, and so I'm going to show you what this looks like on the chart here. You can see this chart. You can see how tight these planets are now. Now, this one is a much more looking, much more impressive looking stelium because you got Venus, the moon, Mercury, you got Neptune, you got Saturn, and you got the sun here. Uh, 
One of the things I've noticed too in my research is that, and this is, I'm still just starting to look at this, uh, but when you have a stelium, a lot of times when the sun starts to translate across these, okay, so you have July, you have August, so this is this is in 26 of Cancer. Once the sun passes across, it seems like that that triggers the release of the energy, uh, and that's a pattern that shows up over and over and over and over again when you go through time. Um, so not only is the stelium important, but it's important what the sun is doing. And, and in astrology, we talk about the sun as being really important because that's for something to show up in the day, like to see it in the world, you need two things. You need the sun and you need the Aries point to show up in a chart. And it seems like when the sun gets involved in this and it moves across, that's when these steliums it kind of releases the energy and the, and the markets fall. Uh, so that's that example. Uh, the next one is going to be uh, August the 12th, 1946. So we're going back to World War II era here. Obviously, we were before World War One in the last few charts, right around that period. Uh, and so this is uh, 1946. So this one, I'm going to show you what this stelium looks like. Uh, this this is a, a pretty impressive stelium because you have all of these planets here in Leo. Okay. And then you have uh, all of these planets planets here in Libra. So you had kind of a double stelium here. This is first harmonic, which means that we're just looking at uh, traditional conjunctions. So if you went up in the sky and you looked, you would see them lined up longitudinally underneath each other. So you would, th you know, this sometimes this, this created like the appearance of a bright star at the end of uh, COVID when uh, we had that triple conjunction with Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto. Um, and so that's what this is. Now, like I said, there's other harmonics to look at. But when we look at the next chart here in 1946, um, again, you, you see the same pattern. You see that the markets uh, tend to cluster up here uh, when you get these big steliums up here. And so uh, it seems like there's a release of energy. Once the stelium peaks, the market starts to follow lower. And so uh, it's good to look at market snapshots. But the cool thing about this, this index is you can see it rolling through time. You can actually see... The planet, the planets break up here and start to, to start to release, and then the market falls. Uh, and notice here, again, the two the two concepts we're looking for here is we're at a top, and it's releasing the energy, and we're at a bottom here, where that that stelium can stop it from going further. And we saw this in March of two. I'll get to March of two thousand and nine, but when that stelium shows up again. Um, it's it stops the decline and it it pretty much follows the rolls and the peaks of the, of these planets and I and I had to build this indicator it didn't exist I had to kind of conceptualize what was going on we'll talk about 1957 after the break we'll be right back folks Shane Smolian WolfTrader.com TFNN you can't miss. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with a 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with Shane Smolian, TheWolfTrader.com. Could you continue, please? Absolutely, Larry. Now, I have I have so many charts here. I feel like we'd be here for five hours if I went through them all. So I'm going to kind of speed this up. I'll do a webinar on this later on and go into detail for people that want to see this. But we'll talk about 1987 here because, Larry, this was one that I think a lot of astrologers – I definitely noticed this stelium. It was in the summer, uh, August 20th of 1987. I don't know if you remember that time. August 25th, harmonic convergence. Okay. So I this was is wearing, right around. I was wearing aluminum foil to keep the ETs off of me. <laughs> that works, man. Didn't you see it the did. Mel Gibson movie? They didn't movie? get me. Did you see the Okay. All right. Uh, I, I got mine on right now. All right. Um, so I, I picked this date, 820, because that's kind of where the it peaked in terms of the this chart but it was right around that time so you can see into here this is this is the the actual stelium into here uh and you can see this tight convergence into here uh and and, and it represented a very very tight conjunction you can see they're all within about a degree or a degree and a half into here uh, and again this is first harmonic this is just you look up in the sky and they're longitudinally aligned you don't have to get into the the uranian stuff where we get into this fourth harmonic but this is this is what it looked like uh this is the high here uh, notice you had this top into here. This is 1987. This is so it took a while. Notice the air takes a while to come out of the balloon, and then it collapses here. Uh, also, notice at the bottom, uh, it stopped the market from going down again. So when you got this, uh, when this shows up again, we want to look at this for market lows also, not just market highs. Uh, so that's really important. And I, I just have so many charts here. I guess we'll go forward to uh, let's go to 2007. I, 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 I did overkill here, but this is 2007, so this is a stelium. Now, this was the, the, the global financial meltdown. Uh, there was a series of steliums, and so the first one was here. This was uh, uh, December 20th, 2007, uh, and this one is – it doesn't look as impressive here, but there, it's still a stelium nonetheless. They're within the two-degree orb, and um, you can see here on, on this December 20th, uh, this is the decline. Now, notice every single time there's a kind of a pause in the selling here. It's, it's coming with a stelium. So here's the stelium here. This is the first release of energy here. Then it comes down. There's another little bump up with this stelium here. There's another bump up here with this August stelium, which I'm going to get into next. Uh, and that one was more impressive. And then again, we would expect a, a, a stronger release of energy when it's tighter like that. So here's a top here. Uh, and so that stelium on the August, which I'm going to show you next, was a much tighter chart and so larry this is what you're noticing when you're sending me these charts and when you're sending me these dates to look at this is what you're noticing now i want you to notice here too here's the pattern again here's the stelium and and uh, here's the sun uh the sun is at 22 of, of leo the sun comes across translates through the stelium triggers it again same exact pattern so here's your stelium and the sun comes across for things to show up in the world we need the sun and the aries point to be involved uh, and then here we go again. So look at the chart. Look back at the chart here. 
that was the biggest decline here. That was the after the August September. This was the whole Lehman situation into here. Uh, so here we go again. So here's your stelium, and then this is the one where the sun comes across and triggers the stelium. So again, we're starting to see patterns show up here, as we would expect. This is how that's taught. The sun and the Aries point have to be involved. And with with COVID, it was the Aries point when we saw the Neptune uh, the Neptune uh, Hades midpoint passing over the Aries point. That was the world. The world had COVID, and it and all of those peaks coincided with each wave of COVID. Again, this is more of a Uranian concept. Uh, but the, the, we are more interested in exact midpoints and exact triggers uh, more than traditional astrologers. Now, uh, Larry, this is the low. Now you know you were picked this low. This is the three five two thousand and nine. Um, I want you to notice here that at this low. Uh, in 2009, there is a huge stelium spike here. You see the spike here. In fact, that was the strongest stelium spike there uh, that we would see in the market. And so this w now you show this chart to me all the time. This is the, this is the March uh, 2009 low. Look at how impressive this stelium is here. Look at this one. And so once again, what do we see here, guys? Well, here's the sun making its way through the stelium again. The same concept, same exact concept again. So. Again, there's your stelium. The sun has to show up for it to show up in the world, or the Aries point has to be triggered. Aries point is a combination of something like the sun and an, asc and an ascendant, but for the world. But that's important. Now, one more thing too. I, I, this is so poetic in terms of astrology, right? Because look, this stuff it has to play out as it's supposed to play out, and it is. Um, I want to show you something here. Now, astrologers know that. Uh, and I'm not going to get too much into this, but Jupiter is dealing with expansion and uh, Saturn is dealing with contraction. So when we have Saturn, we're dealing – and these are opposites. I, I wrote about this in the last month's newsletter, the, the, the three opposites of Saturn. One of them is Jupiter. But Saturn's the low. Okay, So we expect Saturn to show up when we have a low. And I want you to see something here. So not only did we have a stelium, but on March the 8th, on March the 8th, Okay, 2009, uh, what do we have here? The sun passes through the stelium, and what is it doing? It's hitting Saturn exactly in the second harmonic, making an opposition. Guys, it doesn't get any more poetic than this. This is perfection in terms of astrology, and this is the exact low. And Saturn is known, otherwise known as Kronos with a C, not Kronos with a K, which we talk about in Uranian astrology. But Kronos is known, Saturn is known to be an exacting planet okay it's an, it's exacting in a many of the ways that virgo is but when you're talking about exact time stops and exact time stamps saturn is involved and look at this it's exactly hitting saturn at the low as it passes through the stelium here guys this is astrology at its best if you want to talk about perfect alignments this is it um, and so I just found this uh, amazing to go through this, uh, Larry. And, and if you wouldn't have sent me these charts, I, I wouldn't have done this. I wouldn't have gone in this direction and try to look at this. I mean, I look at the Saturn and I understand how the, the, the dial works on the Uranian and the midpoints. But this is a whole nother level of, hey, look, I think people can get behind this. People can see, hey, look, there's six planets here conjunct. Hey, look, every time that happens, it's a major low or a major high. Uh, so I just found that to be interesting. If, if you want to go through more of this, I'll, I will do it in another show or I'll do it in a webinar. But I just found this to be amazing. I, I, this stuff always amazes me. But this, Larry, this was a whole new level. This is a whole new indicator we have now. It has nothing to do with transits. It has nothing to do with planetary speed. This is just a whole new way to look at the markets in terms of how the planets interact. Well, like my grandma said, I was a poet and I once know it. So let's see if we can keep this going. I really sure. enjoy this. This is very important. Now, sure. what we should be able to do then, if we're looking at Saturn as being as low, I'll have you keep a watch on this because find out when our next major low will be in the stock market. And then that might, might, might be to help to folks. Absolutely. And I think yeah. that um, I, I think that putting it with the stelium, I mean, it makes it, it, it just it's it, it puts all the pieces yeah. together here. We can see it. Um, so, uh, I'll move into some other stocks here. Uh, I don't, I don't know how we're doing on time here, but, um, don't worry. We got plenty of time. Not to okay, worry. We so, got another so, two minutes. <laughs> okay. Two minutes. All right. No, so, we got, so no, we got more time. Just keep going. Especially okay, Bitcoin. So, we want to see what you think of Bitcoin. Okay. Oh, we got to take a break here. You got two more minutes, my friend. Okay. Can you stay with sure. us? You got it. 
Great stuff today, Shane. Thank you very much, Shane. I really, really enjoy it. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, we're back, folks, and we're talking with uh, Shane Smolian, WolfTrader.com. Uh, Shane, I am very interested in this topic, and I, I, I know you know I know very little about it, but you know I've been keeping my eye on it for a long time because that's about the only thing I can understand as far as simplicity. But I would really like to see a webinar on this after you finish some of your research because this can't be by accident. I mean, these no. things are lining no. up uh, too there. too close. There's yeah. no exceptions to this. When you look at major highs, it's always there. Um, let, me, let me. Someone brought up in the chat about Kathy Wood. Let me talk about this since we're talking about astrology. Is uh, that she the, runs, the art girl? Yeah, she runs at our case. So she said, let me talk about this. This is super interesting. So she, so she's the sheep, right? This is the Chinese zodiac. She's the sign of the sheep. This is her opposite year of the ox. Now, I'm ox. This is my year, right? This is my year. But she's the sheep. Now, in a Chinese astrology, you have year. You have the year, but you have months, right? So it's the year of the ox and it's the month of the ox. So going by that, she should be at a low right now. And someone pointed out that all of her ETFs are running at these 52-week lows. That's not an accident either. Uh, she's having a like a double opposition. She's having peak opposition right now. Uh, she's very smart. I love listening to her. I always learn something when I listen to her. But she's just facing a lot of astrological opposition right now. And, and the Chinese zodiac is much more unforgiving with the oppositions. I think the... <laughs> the the Western astrology a little bit 
more, but it can be balanced out. But um, I thought I would point that out since we're talking about astrology today. <laughs> I understand the unforgiving part, believe me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, uh, anyway, but uh, yeah, so Bitcoin, we've been talking about this decline since late October, November. S&P, uh, we've got this big sell-off going now with the taper. Uh, so things are big, pretty much just going as we expected. Once we got past those seasonals, uh, I think things just um, – you know the truth's coming out now essentially so uh yeah. you know if we have more time we could talk more about this s p and the fed and all that stuff but uh it's accelerating everything's accelerating as we That's expected good. it yeah hey, listen thank you for joining us today my friend we'll have you on again and keep up the good work and uh certainly enjoyed it today shane spolian folks wolftrader.com we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow with a special mystery guest tomorrow may Peace god out. bless thank you bye-bye